Hi, Assalamualaikum. It is an honor for me to have Mr. Arifuddin bin Abdullah as my lecturer for FKP5 UBI 20302. I am Nur Zafira binti Muhammad Fazli, number metric A22A0854. I would like to review an article today and I choose text one as my article. So, let's start. In my opinion, the possible title for the tag is New Job Ultimate Rules. It is because the text gives new employees several brilliant tips to be successful in starting a new career by telling the reader things to avoid and to do when starting a career. I choose text one because this text is very beneficial for students like me who will venture into the challenging world of work later. From this text, I can learn useful tips that I can use when I start working later and I can also learn to be careful not to make mistakes at the beginning of my career. I have found the thesis statement of the text is things we should avoid when starting a new job. The intended audience of the text is the new employees who just want to start working or starting an internship. This tag is purposely to tell new employees about the things they should not do when starting a career. This is for the purpose of giving them awareness and knowledge about correct work procedures. From the article, I have found 9 topic sentences from each of the 9 body paragraphs. The first key part is don't be late because being on time matters. The next topic sentence is make sure you understand what constitutes acceptable outfit for your new workplace. Then, don't skip or treat lightly the training process required by the company before starting a new position. After that, don't feel frustrated if you are not formally informed certain processes, tools and forms that make up the standard operating procedures of your company. Moreover, we need to believe in ourselves and prove that we can do the work ourselves and only ask for help when needed. In addition, we need to make personal policy of limiting personal phone call and text to lunch break except for emergencies. Besides, don't expect more salary until you have worked long enough to prove your value to the employer. Other than that, be cautious of suggesting new policies or strategies during first week as it may not be the best way to demonstrate us as a team player. Lastly, we need to tell the truth if we don't know how to do something. I have found that all of the topic sentences of the text interrelate because they are all about the rules of having new job. The thesis statement is written to state the main purpose or argument of writing which is things we should avoid when starting a new job. While key parts will relate to the thesis statement when it supports our thesis by giving examples, supporting evidence, details and explanation. For example, we need to avoid coming late to work when starting a new job. Author did a great job to generate interest in the arguments since the author gives the relatable examples of situation in real life as a new employee coming to work for the first time. The author also gives advice to reader in addition letting reader know the things reader should avoid during work. Besides, the author also have a strong story openings hook. Lastly, the author use advanced word in the text to attract interest. The author is also good in convincing the readers of his or her notion of argument. The author use persuasive writing. He or she using information that can be fact-checked and through details and clear explanation to support key point. He or she presenting strong evidence and a reasonable example. The author also can understand the reader's purpose. Besides, the author pay attention to the language to connect with the reader, such as speak to reader. I have found nine evidence to support thesis statement. Firstly, the teacher began keeping track of tardies in our first grade. Next, there is nothing more embarrassing than showing up wearing something that doesn't fly with your supervisors. Then. Even if your training managers won't be your direct supervisors, they are watching you. After that, you may have been introduced to certain process through a very organized, systematic orientation or you may feel like you are expected to absorb them by osmosis. 
Besides, you were hired because managers believe in your ability to get the job done by yourself. Next, your employer is not paying you to chat with your girlfriend or even your kid's babysitter during work. Next, most likely, you and your employer agreed to a certain salary during the hiring process time, so you cannot change your mind before even show up at work. Next, at first, take time to really understand and learn your job. Then, over time, you can make suggestions and change as situation arise and as your input and expertise is called open. Lastly, you will be asked to do something or expected to know something that you don't yet know or know how to do. Overall, I can say that the evidence in text is convincing because it is closely related to the real situation of our life. The author has also anticipated opposing views and countered them by giving the strong objection, fact and opinions followed by reasonable and related examples. In a nutshell, the author's is sound reasoning. The conclusion is, the idea of the text is really relatable to my own experience when I just about to start working in new company after I have finished studying at SPM level. I need to be very careful in setting a good impression to my employer. This is also related to Malaysia context where Malaysians need to obey to the rules when they start their career at the company. All these things will be very important to our life because all the youngster or a student will start their first job carefully. This is also a reminder for all the Malaysians for not do all the undisciplined things in their workplace. This information is very important to students as it is an eye-opening to the student before joining the working era. That's all from me. Thank you.